Weighing scales are used to measure the weight of adults, children and infants. There are different types of weighing scales. Bathroom weighing scales, 0 to 150 kilograms, are either mechanical or electronic. The electronic type is fitted with a battery. The bathroom type weighing scale is cheaper than beam scales, but the mechanical type are not accurate enough for babies and children. The physician scale uses a sliding beam and has a range of 0 to 150 kilograms and is usually equipped with a height measuring rod. The hanging infant scale, also named a portable spring balance, dial scale or salter scale. The maximum weight is 25 kilograms with markings at 500 grams with 100 gram graduations. These scales come with trousers and slings. Some models go up to 50 kilograms. Hanging scales are compact, small, easy to transport and read and can be used for children up to the age of five. However, they are not very accurate. The basin type tabletop model, which is a double beam with a sliding scale in metric. The weighing range is 0 to 16 kilograms with 10 gram graduations. It has a shallow tray and is only suitable for babies. Basin type, also tabletop model with a shallow tray, is electronic, works on battery and or a main supply. To avoid inaccuracies, place the scale on a solid floor, such as concrete or tiles, and not on a carpet. Make sure that the scale is on level ground. Some scales have a built-in level indicator. In that case, adjustment screws at the bottom of the scale can be used to ensure that it is level. The zero reading of the scale may be affected when the scale is not in a level position. First, move the poises to the zero position. If the arm is not balanced, then calibration is needed. Beam type scales can be zeroed by turning the adjustment screw with a screwdriver or a coin. Estimate the weight of the person to be weighed. Then shift the major poise to the lower nearest weight. Now shift the minor poise to find the correct reading. Adjust the position of the major poise if the weight is out of range. The correct reading is reached when the arm is balanced. Weigh adults and children without shoes or heavy clothing. Beam type scales are also suitable for weighing babies and infants. To do this, we must weigh baby in the mother's arms or the health worker's arms. Then we measure the mother by herself and calculate the difference in weight. Before measuring height, remove the person's shoes and headgear. For a proper measurement, the person to be weighed must stand straight up and position the heels against the vertical stand. Lower the measuring bar slowly onto the person's head, touching it gently. Now take the reading and write it down. The scale must be calibrated to zero before each use. With the trousers and sling fitted to the scale, turn the adjustment wheel until it reads zero. Observe the maximum weight and ensure that the infant or child is not too heavy for the scale. 
Lift the child carefully and safely into the trousers and take the reading. Alternatively, put the trousers on first, then hook the sling to the scale to take the reading. Make sure that the scale has a proper power supply, either the mains electricity or a battery. Make sure that the scale is positioned on a level surface. It must be steady and not rock to avoid inaccurate readings. Put a blanket in the scale, but take care that the blanket stays inside the scale. The readings will be inaccurate if the blanket touches the base of the scale or the table. With the blanket in place, switch the scale on by pressing the on button. Electronic scales calibrate themselves to a zero reading. At all times, make sure there are no objects near the scale or touching it, as this could cause inaccurate readings. Now gently place the baby into the scale and take the reading. Weighing scales can be easily maintained by the user. The main points for maintenance are Cleaning. It is important that weighing scales are kept clean and are kept in a clean environment to avoid damage by insects, in particular cockroaches. Changing the battery. If the weighing scale operates on battery power, make sure that the battery is replaced timelessly. The electronic weighing scale does not give a reading at all. Ensure that the battery is replaced timelessly. Ensure that the mains power supply is on. The electronic weighing scale does not give an accurate reading. Ensure that the scale is calibrated before use. Ensure the weighing scale is cleaned regularly. Ensure that the battery is replaced timelessly. Ensure that the mains power supply is stable. The position scale does not calibrate to zero. Turn the adjustment screw to obtain a precise zero reading. If the fault cannot be rectified after these checks, the unit should be referred to a suitably qualified person for further inspection. <laughs>